I just love this. Uh, so basically we're a group, we're called Salute. Uh, we have a, each, each letter stands for strength, adaptability, love, unity, trust and equanimity. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know what equanimity means, it's the ability to remain calm in a difficult situation. I'm going to go on up a wee bit higher. Um, yeah, I'm going to show you where my next see where these people are coming down. Honestly, I didn't think it would get up this far because looking down at the car park, it, 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 it's, it's very intimidating, but I'll let you see what it's like. Um, but challenge yourselves, challenge yourselves at least once a week. Once a week, just do something that will take you out of your comfort zone. Um, because it buzzes you get it something else. Uh, yeah, so I'll show, I'll show you where we are. Uh, hi guys, welcome back. Thanks for clicking on the little thumbnail. Um, yeah, so how's your week been? Did you do anything to take you outside your comfort zone? Did you challenge yourself at least once this week? Um, I'm over towards Carrick Little Car Park and you can probably see the mountain behind me here. Yeah, this is Sleeve Billion. This is one that I've been putting off for so long. Uh, I did come up here last week just to have another look at it. It really does intimidate me. Uh, I feel like very insecure about the thought of climbing this. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to climb this or whether I'm not. Uh, but I'm going to go have a look at it. Um, uh, if I will, if I can't climb it, I will. I will give it a go. I'll give it a bash. I say I have been putting it off and I'm making excuses that I need to lose more weight than they lose more weight. Uh, but I think I just have to grab the bull by the horns here and give it a shot. Um, yeah, it it's going to be frightening. Um, they say is that it's up and back should take about two hours and fifty two minutes. I'm putting that down for double that for me, because if obviously. As you can see, guys, um, very stand up. Quite a big lump of a lad. The tran, the tran, um, the tran hopped that up this mountain here. Um, 740 odd meters. It's the third highest mountain in the moors. Feeling that if I get up towards the wall, and it just looks too much for me. Um, I'll maybe just head out towards the uh, Long Valley. Maybe head out towards the Blue Lock. Maybe get some nice drone shots. But uh, it'll be a walk. It'll be, it'll be something that will take me out of my comfort zone this this week, and something that will challenge me. And hopefully, it'll uh, encourage you who are watching this now that maybe if you are having difficulties, if you are struggling at the minute, um, do something. Do something that excites you. Do something that gets you. Um, motivated to make new choices in your life hopefully these videos are helping um, I know this helps me this really does help me um, no matter how bad of things that are uh, getting on top of you just getting out getting out in the mountains just silence quietness you'll hear the birds you'll hear crows you'll, you'll hear dogs barking in the background anything that'll uh, that'll uh, sort of clear your mind clear your thoughts uh, and just give you a challenge so i've been speaking here for now nearly over three minutes and you've probably already skipped through it um but if you haven't thanks for staying on uh, and listening to this little introduction bit uh, and if you are new to this channel consider hitting that we subscribe button we're growing the channel every week um and it is uh, if you notice now i have changed i have the change the name to david david's hike the health there is other channels that are very similar to that and whenever you put Hike into Health in, it brings their channels up first. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to singleize my my name. So if anybody is looking for Hike into Health, just put the David in front. Uh, you can Google search David Hike into Health and it'll bring you up the YouTube search and if you put in the YouTube search itself, uh, David's Hike into Health, it'll take you straight to my page. Um, so there is no more confusion with that because there has been a couple of people have said to me when they put in hiking the health they, they, they get this other channel coming up but uh yeah so yeah rant over it's now four minutes and 14 seconds that i've been talking to so you're probably bored and fell asleep already but let's get some excitingness back into this video well we'll we'll, we'll challenge ourselves today and we'll see if we can do it on a gutter and 
Let's get up here, up this big thing here. Let me see, let's see, yeah. See, you can't even see the top. That's not the top of Enya, it's in behind that. So you have to go up this wall. It, it's, it's scary, it is scary. Feeling that, I'll go right along uh, the Long Valley, but we'll say, look where we are today. Absolutely stunning, and the weather's great today, but we, we'll crack on with this because there's a five minute intro. Okay, so that's what's going to get cracked on with this. Um, it's now, shit, I don't know what time it is. Let me see. Let's see what time it is now. It is. This one does my love in. It's 10 to 12. 10 to 12 now. So we'll see when you get back after doing the binion loop. A little bell there. He's ringing the little bell. A little honesty box. Three pound per day or five quid overnight. They have got CCTV. <laughs> so pay the dough. Don't be a cheapskate. Don't pay the three quid. But the guy's good enough to uh, let you park in this thing. And plus there's the overflow car park. That's where I'm parked up there. But yeah. Um, this is the start of our little track here. And I'll crack on here. So yeah, um, I'm going to have a look at this and see how I feel about it. Um, I don't see like not being able to complete this as a failure. I don't see that. I don't have that word failure in my life because uh, if you don't succeed on something, if you say it's a failure, then you only sort of like putting yourself down for your next your next attempt so what I do is instead of classing it as a failure I just see it as a new challenge for another day um, and the next time you try it because you put that effort in to try and get that little bit further you will have that wee bit more experience you know the layout of the land you'll know what it feels like and uh, you'll know how to how to deal with it. So yeah, we'll crack it on here. I just love this. That's what I'm saying about it does your head good to get out into here. Look at this. Look how peaceful, how quiet it is. Isn't that mad? There's the first sign of the midges. Uh, I stupidly enough left the midge in the car, but I don't very much I'll need it here for this time of year. February. Um, hopefully not. Lamagan Cove Donard. Is it Donard in the background? Or yeah, Donard's the one that's further back, and then there's Comeda, and that's Rocky Mountain. So these are the Seafins. We did that one there. There's there's a wee vlog on the Seafins there, where I seen the two wee white horses. Yeah, yeah, they were they were beautiful little horses, like little wild white ponies uh, they're up along that that top ridge there um, yeah well look at this <laughs> this is the beast here this is what honestly and I'm going to speak just from my heart it scares the shit out of me to be honest with you uh, there's no candy coat in this um, it's a very intimidating looking mountain to me again because see when you take 22 and a half stone then you've maybe all my gear in the backpack holes clothes oh different other stuff my camera gear you might be talking another oh shit 18 pound on my back as well so we'll see we'll see guys we might be successful feeling that we walk on out the blue lock I'll go and assess this I'll try it. Um, yeah, and I'll see 
see what the outcome's going to be. It's either going to be yeah or nay, but let's go. <laughs> we'll give it a whirl anyway. Still scary, but um, it doesn't look as bad as what it does further back. Uh, there is a there is a path. For those girls are walking up there, so I can see the the only bit that looks tough to me here is this little section here. This is reason to be okay, but it's this little vertical climb where the wall splits. This bit here looks quite steep, but Probably the closer you get to it, it might be as bad, but yeah, we came up from the top car park in the Carrick Little. Right there, I'll take you over towards the Blue Lock. But you know what? Nothing ventured, nothing gained, is not what they say. At the end of the day, it's gonna beat me, and I'm gonna beat out one or the other, so uh, there's no point on uh, dwelling on it, we're just gonna give it a go. And, See if we did, if we did, we did, then yeah, that would be fantastic if we did, but if we don't do it, at least we tried. Say, come on, really? Do you, do you want to do this with me? Come on, let's go then. Yeah. So it doesn't look that bad. I will have to get the poles out at some stage. Um, I mean, this is going to be if. And a word to use the word very uh, flippantly. <laughs> if I get up here, this will be the highest mountain that I've climbed in the morning, uh, and it's the third hasp. So yeah, I think. See, because it's like a track and it's more popular. I don't think it's going to be as rough a train as last week. Last week going to sleeve the brock from Tullymore once you get through the wall in Tullymore it's uh, it's all rough see like this sort of terrain there's no like real path and you just have to sort of wing it um, but yeah we'll we'll crack on here and see how we can get on with this okay, so we're up a wee bit here uh, it's a hell of a lot tougher than what I thought but yeah we're getting there we're up a wee bit but I've bumped into a group, a hiking group called Salute. Um, the guy's name is Wilson. He'll be able to explain it a hell of a lot better than uh, than I will here. So, this is uh, Wilson. Um, so, you have your Hi. Instagram group. Yeah. So basically, we're a group. We're called Salute. Uh, we have a each each letter stands for strength, adaptability, love, unity, trust, and equanimity. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know what equanimity means, it's the ability to remain calm in a difficult situation. Uh, we're a group was set up through the loss of my best friend. Um, six years ago, we would have hiked a few mountains together and uh, we always would have had a nip of whiskey at the top. So, to start off with, uh, I set, I, I'd done a few walks to um, raise a bit of money for him at the start. Then, after five walks, that ended and I kind of felt like a void. I felt like, you know, there's, there's something that we could carry this on yeah. so we've done that and we made up the thing where if you do three mountains with the group you earn a salute cap we're right. now on i think next week we're by our next set of caps of 100 which will bring us to around six seven hundred caps we've given Jeez, out over amazing. the last six that years so for me that's all them lives have been impacted just today alone there's been 55 turned up at our walk last month there was 71 
uh, turned up. Wow. So we're getting good numbers, and for me, what I get out of it is my friends being remembered in a positive way, and it's also impacting others um, in their journey. And some people have, no, you hear of a couch to 5K, we like to call it a couch to a cap. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, you know? that's what I'm saying, guys. It's like everything. You can sit in your hole all weekend and do nothing. You can look at these videos and every week you'll say, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. I'm 22 and a half stone, sober five years, and I don't smoke, and this is my new buzz. So, like, I mean, if I can do this, it, yeah. it, it's going to be tough now, isn't it? It's, it's, gonna, gonna, it's tough, last of course. It's gonna tough, be hard. but as, as my friend, as a set up a memory of, if it's easy, you know, there's worse the achievement than if it's easy. It's, it's got to be tough, you know, but this is where you, you grow in yourself. Um, so anyone who's interested in coming along, it's uh, you can follow us on Facebook at Salute, uh, or Instagram at Salute45, or we do have a website, which is saluteni.com. On that website, you'll find the story of our cap, uh, how it started. The caps cannot be bought the, uh, for any price. They must be earned, yeah, and you must walk great. three mountains. And you'll find our mission statement, what we're trying to achieve through this group. And you'll find also some testimonials on there of people who have had their lives changed. Um, our youngest hacker, I don't know if you've seen that, it could be age five to six. Our oldest hacker was at the top of Sleeve Binion. And instead of coming back down, he decided with half the group to do this, the Sleeve Binion loop, loop. add another couple of mail yeah. on. And he's 74. Wow. So as this guy saying, wow. you know, anyone can do it, but it just takes a wee bit of courage yeah. to get out there. Yep. And once you're out there, there's nothing better. And it's free. Salute's free, it's, by the way. It's yeah. a free group. It Brilliant. costs nothing. I mean, we're here to help. We're here to encourage. And uh, there's no one to be judging. And you'd be very, very welcome. Yeah, so, that, that, that's that's what I was saying. See if you have any sort of self-confidence issues about your weight. Nobody judges you. See when you're out hiking or walking, the walking community is amazing. Nobody nobody looks at you in a strange way. If you're struggling, people will stop and talk to you, they'll advise you, they'll help you along the way. But yeah, it's been an absolute pleasure meeting this guy. I've been sitting talking to him for ages. And I think I'm I'm talking to him because I'm trying to put this off because it is scaring the crap out of me, to be honest with you. But uh do you think we'll do it? Oh there's no yeah. doubt, there's no doubt. Listen, it's uh it's all in the end it's all in there. On the head. It's all in there. And there you just pick one step at a time and you keep going um you just you just keep on going you're not no one's in a rush yeah. we're not in a rush i mean yeah. all our group there there's all different levels of fitness uh you know there, there's ones who can fly up but they don't they go so far yeah. and they wait on the rest yeah. and it's the same with yourselves yeah. you're out for the day yeah. there's about what five hours of light left you can uh, so you can take your time this is it enjoy here. it so yeah so there we go guys we wrap this up that's and uh, we salute to finish off there we go guys <laughs> yeah yeah brilliant Taking a wee breather. Um, yeah, I haven't even touched it or scratched the surface of this yet, but I'll show you where we are. Um, so just to get, see if I can get up that wall, just to assess what this claims like. So uh, I was talking to the Salute boys. So see when you get up the top of that little ridge line there, it kind of levels out, but then you have a steeper climb again up, up uh, Binion, but. Yeah, look at this. Absolutely outstanding. <laughs> this is your, uh, this is your reward for uh, at least trying. But yeah, that was um, that was Wilson. It was a real pleasure meeting you, Wilson. Um, yeah, follow him on Instagram. I'll put all the details up um, whenever I edit this all together. So. Yeah, he's a very uh, he's a very motivating type of guy. You know, he does give you that wee bit of a buzz and a bit of a push. Like you, you just feel the energy coming off him. So check him up. See if you want to go. I like hiking on my own. Um, it's just a wee solitude thing with me. Um, maybe later on when I deal with the demons inside my head, maybe I will start to hike with other people. There has been a couple of other people that have asked to, to come along on hikes, but. Uh, we're close, we're close, we're not just there yet, uh, I wouldn't say I'm a, we I'm a weirdo, but uh, I'm a wee bit, uh, <laughs> I'm a wee bit set in my ways, you know what I mean, so, um, yeah, it's, it, I enjoy this on my own, I really do, because I have nobody to, I have nobody to talk to about myself, and, uh, like, I mean, who do you spend most of the time with, 
yourself. So if you can't get on with yourself, who else do you get on with? Like, uh, I mean, uh, plenty of arguments I have with myself, but uh, normally I win. Yeah, so I uh, I just hike on me. Um, it's just a thing with me. Uh, I enjoy it. I enjoy the, the pace and the, the tranquility of this, but I, I enjoy meeting people. I can still and talk to people for a while, um, but then I just want to get moving on. Uh, but yeah, it was really interesting talking to Wilson. Um, so yeah, so check him out. Um, I say I'll, I will put all the information about his his uh, salute group. Um, I find that astonishing what people can do for other people. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> I am really putting this off because this is it's scaring the crap out of me. Like so, uh, I'm going to get up to the wall. Uh, yeah, that's where my target line is. See this wall that's breaking here. Uh, not this little wall, this wall that goes up here uh, that, that's my target there uh, and then I'll see what that that actual climbs like there uh, and then I'll decide what I'm going to do from there on we've made it to the wall um, yeah it's tougher than what it looks guys um, it's it's probably not going to take as long getting down but it's going to be as, as tough going down um, I don't know what we're sitting at here now um, with relive, but I'll show you. I'll show you where we are. We've made it to this wall. I thought it would have been an absolute nightmare. Um, where are we? Relive is 0.8 of a mile, so just under a mile to the wall from the top car park. The wall that I'm sitting on here now. Um, one hour three minutes. So yeah, it's been tough. Um, but I'll show you. I'll show you where we are and what we have to get to here now. Um, I don't. I'll just bring this pole back down a wee bit. You probably hear the clicking off it there. But yeah, uh, this was my target. So anything, uh, anything more is a bonus for me. Um, honestly, I didn't think I would get up this far because looking down at the car park, it, 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 it it's. It's very intimidating, but I'll let you see what it's like. Um, but challenge yourselves, challenge yourselves at least once a week. Once a week, just do something that will take you out of your comfort zone. Because um, the buzz you get is unreal. Uh, yeah, so I'll show, I'll show you where we are. Um, hold on. Yeah, so I'll show you where we are. What height we're at here now. So you can see the back end of the lambigan. Uh, I think this one is Donard. I'm not a hundred percent sure whether that's Donard or not. That could be Donard uh, Comeda. I think that's the way it is there. And then is this Chimney Rock? You can leave comments below and help me out in these mountains. See, because I've never been in this section here. I know that that's Lamigan and the Cove Mountain and the Devil's Coach Road snarls over that direction there. So either this wee one's rocky, don't know what that one is, but this could be Commodore and the one behind that again could be Donard. That's more realistically because that looks higher than this one. Don't know what that one is there. Um, don't know, um, but yeah. So I've made it up and do you know what? See this from down at the car park? It looks a lot steeper than what it is, but see that climb up sleeve in the brock was a lot steeper than this guys. So see if you can make it to this wall. This is your next challenge. Then you had a little plateau here and then you have the big climb is what the boys in uh salute was telling me, yeah. Uh, that wee section is, is tough. I haven't got the drone up yet. Uh, and a wee section there. You can see the weight coming off my face, guys. A wee bit more. I think I've about an hour, three or four pound off me here. So we're doing okay. Um, again, it's just, it's just eating right and just being sensible. And uh, my nemesis is... Um, Shit, it's been that so sensations crisps. It's been that long since I bought them. I forgot about them already. 
chili and the chicken ones they're, they're the killer for me i don't buy the bee bags i buy the big bags nor the family share ones uh, only i don't share i just eat the lot but yeah i've avoided that i've avoided that those and uh yeah just just trying to be a wee bit more sensible with my life but look where it's getting me yeah look where it's getting me um yeah but we'll i'll maybe see if i can get the drone up here um for a wee bit because i want to get a wee bit of a recipe yeah but yeah, who's here on the long valley as well? Along here. When we've came away from the other side away down behind that mountain there, but yeah. Back to the road with my undone hair. I'm off to find the life I lost. Back in things from my adventure and fly as far as I could tropical sun with the jungle vibes and steal the sunshine flowers blossom in my chest butterflies are dancing where I rest back back to the road let's turn on the adventure mode I warm up on my face Life worth living like the sun in the morning People worth loving and caring Pure and true Tough and strong To fight with what is wrong Back, back to the road Let's turn on the adventure mode Back, back to the road Back to the life I lost give it a crack here um i'm gonna go on up a wee bit higher um yeah i'll go and show you where my next see where these people are coming down this ridge that's gonna be my next target so i'll do it in stages i'll do it in, like how far i can get uh but that's my next stopping point um and then i'll see hopefully be able to see binion from there well i'm a holer i'm scared of crap out of me um so yeah i'll show you here see if you are going to try this this is what you're sort of looking at and like this is this is the conditions it's this is why my food see because i'm a big ass lad i'm digging in really deep here and it's hard for me to put my feet out i uh where's my where's my slip mark here so i can up to there on a slip and i went down and cracked my knee um cracked my knee up <laughs> Um, but do you know what? I hit my target. The target was that wall down there. Um, I think I've done pretty okay for today. Um, relive, I'll show you. There's still a good bit to go, but um, I'm a wee bit disappointed, but I'm also afraid. And I have to get back down. Yeah, so I don't want to injure myself. I've seen two or three people here slipping and I don't want to jinx myself um, there was one girl there um, I forget the young girl this was at the very bottom at the start she just went over in her ankle um, but her, her, her mate they were parking the bottom car park but her mate was going to go down and get the car and she was just going to hobble on down um, you can see it's soaking wet uh, and you're digging down so if anybody knows this section of sleeve binion they'll know the conditions and what I've I've sort of achieved today, so um, I'm not going to knock it. Uh, I'm up a good bit. I'm up a good wee bit of a height. I don't know. I'm busting to see what Relive's going to tell me what height I'm at. But you can see the views. 
I'm up I'm up a good old crack and bit here um, and it's going to take me a wee while to get back down I'm not lambing height uh, I'm not Cove Mountain or any of them but I don't even think I'm anywhere near Rocky height but um, yeah it was um, a wee bit disappointed but as I said I don't see failures I only see challenges for another day this way I'll have the experience if I'm a bit later in a couple of well, a few months, uh, I, I might try, try this the other way. The other way around from um, up past the Blue Lock and go up that way, apparently it's a wee bit easier. So I might just go out and back and in along, you know, along the valley that way there. But yeah, it is what it is, as, as I say. But um, yeah, don't, don't, don't let your, um, again, it's not a failure. Don't let your, your things that you set out to do, and you don't succeed it's just a new challenge for tomorrow and it's new experiences so um yeah i'll uh i love you and leave you on i'll i'll get down here because um there is still a good bit we've got to go before uh i get down here but yeah i'm freaking raging <laughs> i'm absolutely freaking raging um but again with my backpack and my weight you're probably hawking 22 24 stone up this mountain and, and the conditions they're not great it may be better in the summer i don't know i've never been here um but yeah at least you've seen it at least uh, at least i tried anyway so that's me down a bit guys yeah i'll get out of the sun here yeah so i didn't make it um but i'll show you where they get to um so see if you can see this wall here going off to the, the right see this wall going up see just above that them grey granite slate or granite rocks there just across of the wall there so it, it just got too it just got too, too challenging for a big dude like me um across the slipped <laughs> um yeah slipped it's very it's very boggy at that section there um and it did go down and uh I didn't whack my knee, but I banged it. Uh, um, I have a wee bit of a problem with my my, my right knee carrying this weight, so obviously the more weight I lose, the easier it will get. Uh, but yeah, I didn't set out for my goals, which was to get the top of billion, but I did get what I wanted to achieve. I wanted to get to that wall, and I got past the wall. So yeah, I didn't I didn't get to the top, but I, I got to where I wanted to go. But um yeah i haven't got that far now to go back to the car um i'm just watching down here uh it's a bit a bit in the old slippy side so yeah um i've just to get down just past that little see that little uh cottage with no roof on it on down a wee bit down to the car part but yeah I'm busting to see what height I got. I'm hoping Relive's going to tell me I got over 450 meters. If, I'm, if I get over 450 meters, I got, I've climbed more than what I did the last one. So, um, yeah. We crack on, guys. Um, and thanks. I really do appreciate every single one of you that click on this channel. Um, and hopefully you will get something out of it. There's not very much drone sh shots today because this was a very tasking mountain to climb. Um, but we will get there. I will get there and I will bring you along. Uh, and we will make it We'll make it up there someday. But we'll, we'll crack on here and we'll get back on down. Um, I just need to head down. Yeah, we didn't make it. But no bell ringing today. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm sitting. I'm sitting at a bite mile and a half maybe um, I'm busting to see what height I got um, yeah so see when you do do the billion loop you get to ring that little bell I'll show you see the little bell over the toilet you get to ring that wee bell there um, but yeah we didn't even get up to the billion uh, that's a matter we got just before, oh, I can't even see. 
So it's that, that sheer grey rock face there. So we got further, further than what I thought I got. I was hoping to get till uh, oh, there's the sun. Hello. I was hoping to get just up to the wall. Uh, well, we did. We got to the wall, uh, and we got a wee bit further, but just a wee bit too slippy for me. Um, but yeah, here we go. Oh my god, absolutely wrecked, guys. Uh, so, sleeve minion. I just want to see uh, on relive what we're sitting at here. I don't know if you hear on here. Um, let's see. There we go. So it's. I didn't get a sun here. Yeah, 1.8 miles. We've changed back the miles, guys. Two hours and 15 minutes. So I'm busting to see what the elevation was, what the height was, what we got. But yeah, you can see uh, there's where we got to the blue line, and you might be able to see where the tour is at the top. But yeah, so that was. Sleeve Binion from the top car park in the Carrick Little Car Park. Done. Nearly done, sorry.